Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs Bra Naked Truth video series. My name is Erica and today I'm going to walk you through some common problems you may be experiencing with the fit of your bra and show you how to correct them. To start, let's examine the cup size. Now, one of the most common problems you see with an ill-fitting bra is that the center gore does not tack. Now, to tack means it lays nice and firm between the breast tissue and not on it. Now, as you can see, the bra I'm currently wearing, it's not tacking properly. The center gore here is away from my chest, and I actually have breast tissue trapped underneath of it. This means that I need to go up in the cup size, and it can also mean that you may need to go down in the band so that it's being pulled firmer against your body. You may also experience overflow at the top of the cup if the cup size is too small. This means you'll have some tissue that sort of expands over the cup where your breast tissue has nowhere else to go. If the cup size is too small, you may actually find that you have gaping instead, which I actually have a little bit of gaping on this particular style. However, that doesn't always mean that the cup size is too small. Particularly with molded cup styles, which this is, you may find that the shape of your breasts and the shape of the cup for the molded style are not in line. So your breast tissue is not filling out places that the cup expects it to. When examining a bra for whether or not it fits you, you also want to check out the underwire placement on the side of your body. So for example, the bra I'm currently wearing, the underwire ends right here, so it's actually ending on breast tissue. Ideally, we would like this underwire to sit behind the tissue and encase it inside of it. Now to get this, you need to size up in the cup. However, it's important to also make sure that that underwire doesn't sit too far back on your side or else it can feel very uncomfortable. And it can even pull the top of the cup into this delicate area near your arm. In that case, you may actually have to size down or switch up styles entirely. One of the most common problems women experience with their bra is that the band size is too big. Now, for example, the one I'm currently wearing is definitely too big. I can easily pull this away from my body. It's not giving me any support, and it's actually already on the tightest set of hooks. Now, when you buy a bra that's new, you want to start on the loosest set of hooks because this will allow you to step down to the other hooks as the bra's band loses elasticity over time. What you'd like to see is to have this band size be firm enough that you can get a nice little finger underneath the band to move around, but not enough that you can really tug at it. The band provides at least 80% of the support for your breast, so it's important that it has a nice, snug fit in order to give you the lift that you need. One of the symptoms you may find if your band size is too big is that the straps on the shoulders will dig in. This usually comes from tightening the shoulder straps down as much as you can in order to compensate for the lack of lift you're getting because the band size doesn't fit you properly. So if this is the case, you definitely want to size down in the band at least one, possibly even two or three sizes. Now that you've seen some of the signs of an improper fit, I'm going to change bras and demonstrate those qualities that make up a good fit so you can see the difference. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the solutions we found to those common fit problems. For starters, the underwire here is sitting nice and flat between my breasts. It's tacking beautifully without resting on any breast tissue. The cups of the bra are also nice in that I don't have any overflow at the top, but I also don't have any gaping either. The underwire placement on the side is also nice. It's sitting far enough back to encapsulate my breast tissue, but not too far back so that it would be painful or uncomfortable throughout the day. The band of the bra is extremely firm. I can't tug it away from my body like I could with the other style, but I still have enough space to comfortably move my fingers underneath of it. The straps are adjusted to the top of my shoulders without digging in or being too loose. And overall, you can see that the fit of this bra is far superior to the one I had on before. And as a result, I'm getting a lot more anchorage, lift, and shaping. As a result, while you're trying to find a bra that fits you properly, I encourage you to use these fit criteria in conjunction with our starting point bra size video to help you find the bra that's going to be right for you. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out the other videos in our Bra Naked Truth series as well as on our YouTube channel. And keep checking our blog, Facebook, and Twitter for all the latest news and event information. Thank you.